Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. The Zero Chill promo is here, and today we're going to grade every single high overall card that's 90s up, um, you know, A plus to F. Of course, if you are in the 50% of people who watch the videos and are not subscribed, well, now it's 53%. If you're in that percentage, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And of course, the shout out for today's video goes to my man, Colin. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next one, let's comment the snowman emoji. So let's just get started here. Honestly, you know, I think the zero chill drops, I think the zero chill drops actually very good. A lot of good cards. Um, the 90 overalls aren't the best, right? I mean, Pete Werner, he's actually gonna be a really good user. He should get lurk artists. We don't know yet if he gets lurk artists while I'm recording this but he should get lurk guards with him being a pass coverage outside linebacker as well as some you know he has really good acceleration good tackling good speed as a user at six foot three this card's kind of like i don't think he's gonna have the best coverage stats most likely but you know he's gonna have good coverage stats because he has no finesse move no power no power moves and is a pass coverage archetype so we'll get lurk artist most likely i would say probably 80 90 percent if he does this card's actually gonna be a very good user option and if you're someone that's just getting into madden right now for zero chill Pick this card as your BND. Getting a good user in this game is super important. And with Lurk Artist, linebackers animate better than safeties, debatably, and also can stop the run very well. So P. Warner, for his overall, he's an A-plus card, in my opinion, with Lurk Artist. If he doesn't get Lurk Artist, he's probably like a C, to be honest. But if he gets Lurk Artist, it's actually going to be an A-plus card, in my opinion, because even Lurk Artist is always one AP, so it's actually always good. Next up, we got Irv Smith. Irv Smith, six foot two. Um, I'm going to give him a... Um, Irvin, he's not nothing special, low route running, things like that. Irvin is like a C card in my opinion. Even you know, even on a theme team, isn't anything special. Next up is the free Deron Payne. Um, you will get this card at, from your Zero Chill Welcome Pack upgrade to an 88 using the Power Up Earn from the uh, Madden Express Stop Schedule, which is just like solos basically. Um, and uh, also Snowflakes can then be used to oh get him to a 90. So you have to get him to an so he starts at an 86, I guess. Then an 88, then a 90, and fully upgraded. 85 acceleration with um, 78 speed. Actually, not bad. This card for a free card is actually pretty good. Doesn't have good pass rush stats, but um, yeah, six foot three, three nineteen. Again, this is a very good defensive tackle option if you are just getting started. And as you guys know, acceleration is one of the most important stats on defensive tackles. And 85 rated on a free card. I'll give him a B. I'll give him a B. A draw on pain, although he can't really rush the passer that well. Next up, we have Corey Lindsley. 90 awareness, 90 pass block, 90, 90 low, low run block. I would probably give this card. You know, in your center, running the ball is actually very important. Like having good run block on your center is important because that's where you run a lot of your inside zone runs. Them getting not only the first guy, but getting to that second level is very important on your center. Um, so Corey Lindsley, not the greatest option, uh, but again, he's an offensive lineman and, you know, offensive linemen are always good BND choices. So, you know, no matter what grade I give him right now, he's still going to be a pretty solid choice um, because he's a good pass blocker. But run blocking wise, he's not that great. You guys see right here, 85 run block. Under eight, under 85 run block finesse and under 80 run block power. A very bad run blocker. So um, I'm gonna give Corey like a like a C as well. And next up is AJ Ebenezer. That's how you say his name. It's Epinesa. Epinesa is how you say his name. I'm pretty sure. Um, this card's also very good uh, for an, a 90 overall. I'm gonna give this card like a B plus. Reason for this is he has over 90 power moves and actually has good acceleration and pretty good speed. If you want to, you can play this card at defensive tackle and he'll be very viable there. Um, he's six foot five. He's a big body with uh, you know, he's two two sixty five. So big body with good weight. Um, and uh, he's actually playing play at play at defensive tackle. This card's got good defensive tackle stats and also will we'll, we'll be pretty good off the edge as well with his speed, acceleration, and ninety one power moves. The next up is Josh Downs. Unfortunately, these wide receivers promo in and promo out. They aren't really making them that usable even on a theme team. And you know, Josh Downs is no different. At five foot ten, you would wish he would at least have ninety one speed. Um, does have one route running threshold, which is okay. Uh, should be pretty good after the catch with him being a slot receiver and his kind of build. So Josh Downs, I'll give him like a C. He's a pretty mid card. And even on a Colts team, you're probably, you probably won't see the field too much. Same thing goes for Jamel Dean, except he's just a cornerback. Um, should be a little bit faster, but at least he does have 90 man coverage, which, which at least hits a threshold there. But again, even on, you know, a Tampa Bay theme team, 91 speed, 91 acceleration is just not cutting it. You know, it just isn't cutting it. I feel like he should at least have 91 i always say this but i think the 90s or really every card that comes out should at least be viable on their theme team in my opinion that's how i think it should work but it is what it is um and then next up we got nico collins nico collins pretty much the same thing he is six foot four but 90 speed um he's probably i don't know if he's actually no i would actually probably give 
Josh Downs the a better card here because yes the card six foot four but 81 short route running 85 mid and 87 deep is laughable um yes he's six foot yes he's six foot four with 90 speed um i guess if you believe in height over route running you go nico collins if you believe in route running over height and things like that you go you, you probably would go josh downs but i'll give nico also like a c um pretty mid cards for the 90s across the board now we have our free cards um that start at 82 overall and can be upgraded by completing challenges so uh first up is byron young he's an edge rusher um, does not hit a threshold, but 88 power moves pretty good with um, pretty good speed at 89 and 90 acceleration and does get edge threat for 3 AP with 92 block shed. Pretty solid card, 6'2", uh, 250. I'll give Byron Young like a nice B. Pretty solid free card right there. Next up, the man, the myth, the legend, one of the greatest quarterbacks in the NFL, Zach Wilson. Inside Deadeye, 3 AP. Sure. Um, should get, he should get Gunslinger and should get Gift Wrap. Should be able to get that combination. Um, but honestly, not a bad card and... You know, his release isn't good. He has the Mahomes release still. Um, so, you know, Mahomes release, there's mixed opinions on it, things like that. A little bit clunky, a little bit wonky sometimes. It's not perfect. Um, but, you know, he's low throw under pressure is the only problem on this card, in my opinion. I think he'll be pretty good I mean, in a kind of mid-release. I'll probably give Zach Wilson like a B-. minus. Um, should be a pretty solid card. And if you're just getting started, again, he's a free quarterback. Only thing that's going against him is the fact that the 88 Mike Vick is debatably probably better than that card. I um, mean, you can get him fairly easily for free, of course. And next up, we got Bernard Rainman. 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 Ray. Rainman. Rainman. Um, this card here. So I'm not sure if you're, if you're gonna be able to pick or like an upgrade a bunch of these or like all of these 82 to 91s. But if you have to pick one, this is actually a really good choice right here. If you have to pick one, uh, keep in mind they're BND. You can't sell them. So if you have to pick one, Bernard Raymond's a great option because he's a good offensive lineman. And offensive lineman BNDs are always good. This card should last you for a while. Kind of put him in the lineup and just kind of forget about him. And also he is agile. So I don't know what his speed's going to be, but if he has like 70 speed, it makes his card even better. Um, there's a chance he will. He does get nasty streak for 2AP as well. If you have room for it, probably, probably you won't. So Bernard Raymond, I'll give him, if he's over 70 speed, he's like an A. If he's under 70 speed, I'll give him like a B. Like, I think speed does play a pretty big part, but if you're picking one of these cards, if you, if you can only pick one of these cards, I would go Bernard Raymond. Going to page number one, a couple more of the free cards. Here's the free Donald Penn. There's a bunch of different versions, you know, you're able to get of this card. Um, he looks okay. I probably would give him like a B. He looks pretty mid. Only reason why people are gonna look, really going to want this card is for the two X zero chill chems. Uh, moving on to Greg Newsom, another free card right here. 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 91 zone coverage. If your team does need, you know, cornerbacks and you are just getting started, um, and your team's not that, that not that complete. A six foot ninety one speed corner is a pretty good start. So you could also already go in Greg Newsom here. I'm gonna give him a B as well. Um, next up, we have Free Baker Mayfield. The only way you can get this card is from level twenty five in the zero chill pass. Um, of course, all his theme teams. I usually do like Baker's release a lot. Um, so it's Zach Wilson Baker in the same drop. Um, I usually like Baker's releases in Madden. Um, you know, I would probably say he'll be better than than the Zach Wilson card. Um, I think he will be. So I'll give Baker what I give Zach, like a B. Like what I give whatever I give Zach, go one up. I think I give him a B or whatever. B B B uh B minus. I think I give Zach. Let's give Baker a B. He should play solid. Is he gonna be a top tier quarter quarterback and quarterback in this game? No. And getting a level 25 on the field pass could be tough. So um, who knows? Who knows? I you know, probably no one will actually use that card. Next up we have the another stocking stuffer here. That's CJ Henderson. If I had to pick one, either Greg Newsom or CJ Henderson, I would go CJ Henderson. Um, card is actually pretty tough. Um, yeah, I would, um, I'll go with a, uh, what did this guy say? What is that comp? Is that true? I'm going to go with a B plus on CJ Henderson. Uh, maybe a little bit higher. I'll give him an A minus actually. Pretty good looking card. Yeah. Pretty solid card, man. Can't lie. I like CJ Henderson's card. Looks pretty good. Um, and then we have Devon Go Chucks, God Chucks. And again, low acceleration, low speed. I don't like this card that much. Um, I'll give him like a C. I'm not a big fan of this card to be honest. Um, now we go into, no, we still have free cards here. Nick Gates, another good offensive lineman option. Would I go him or Rainman? I would, would probably still go Rainman because, or R Rainman, because you can obviously use Kevin Malway here for your free center option. So um, Nick Gates, stats are pretty good though. Give him a B minus. Um, we then have the free Mike Evans, who, you know, you, you, you could have got last night. This card's pretty solid, obviously. Six foot five, 231 with 94 man coverage and 90 zone coverage. He's obviously a free safety. 93 speed 94 acceleration one of the best safeties in the game right now um is mike evans so i would toss mike like a smooth he's like an a he's like an a he's like an a he's like an a because like the hit power is a little bit low in the pursuit and like his run stops after a little bit low but still give him an a and he does get discounted pick artists he's probably a little bit better than that 
Probably, probably, yeah, my, I'll give him an A though. I'll give him an A. And he's a good grade. He's a good grade. Next up, we have Michael Burton, another stocking stuffer here. Does get Broncos, Lions, Bears, Commanders, Saints, Chiefs, Chems. If you have one of these theme teams and you need that fullback chem, go get Michael Burton. Um, might actually be, he might actually be the best fullback in the game. Is he? Let me check. Wait, he might actually be, I'm, I'm serious. He might, the fullback landscape obviously is a slim one. Michael Burton might be the best in the game because I think you check in my opinion, was that before? Yeah, I would probably give it to Burton. I think Burton's the best fullback in the game. <laughs> I did not think... Yeah, he's actually a really good card. I'm going to give him actually an A+. Plus. <laughs> I'm going to give him an A+, plus because based off his overall and his position and the amount of theme teams he gets and him being free, he's actually a really cool card. Michael Burton, I'm going to give him an A+. Plus. Good card. I might try to actually get my hands on this card. Just because he's like the best fullback in the game. And he can play like tight end a little bit probably. He's, he's tough. 93 speed and 95 lead block. This card really nice. And we then have Brandon Graham. He's your Zero Chill Forge champion. I don't think you'll be able to get him during the first drop. I think they're going to split it up, you know, the, as they do with, you know, with Iron Forge. Um, but uh, he's pretty solid. He's got 91 finesse moves, 85 speed, 80 acceleration. I would probably play him at defensive tackle, but still a pretty solid card. I would probably toss him like a B uh, for Brandon Graham. Now we have the big boys, the 93 overalls, getting started here with TJ Watt. Let's take a look at TJ Watt's previous card. So if we go to TJ Watt here. TJ Watt, uh, we'll take a look at his traits. So TJ Watt has perfect traits, which means, um, you know, which is actually not good on this card particularly because he has low power moves. And that means he will go to a power move animation, although he doesn't have a good power move rating, which is obviously a waste of a power, a waste of a pass rush move, giving the quarterback more time. Uh, this card, at least, if you were to get TJ Watt, what I would try to do is I would try to get his power moves to at least 85. This way, if you're playing all Madden modes, it hit that threshold. Um, but does have 93 finesse moves and of course well perfect traits as well. So yeah, TJ Watt He's obviously very good does get discounted speed so which is a good ability and that should make him try to go for finesse moves a little bit more than if he didn't have it even though outsiders 1 AP is pretty good too. Um, but I'm gonna give this card for his overall I think he's like an A minus. I think he's like an A minus. I don't think he's like the best pass rusher in the game right now. I don't think he is not including JJ Watt his brother. Um, you know, obviously there's Nolan Smith, there's Javon Kirst, there's Leonard Floyd, there's guys like that. Even Aaron Donald's in the conversation to be better than him, in my opinion. Um, but TJ Watt, obviously very good. I'm going to give him an A-. Um, next up, we got our man Shannon Sharp. This card, if you know the legend here on the channel of Shannon Sharp, shout out to Jam Jam, you know. But uh, this card's going to play super, super well. Him being six foot two might scare some people, but I promise you, this card's going to play just ridiculously amazing. We'll take a look at his previous card here. And uh, it'll basically be like just an upgraded version of this card, right? So let's take a look at his stat makeup, basically. Um, yeah, he'll have great catching, great, great catching traffic. Jumping should be probably 92-ish, somewhere in that range. Um, and the, be the probably the best, the best part about Shannon Sharp cards is the juke move, which is hard to find on a tight end. And with the juke move being the best move in this game right now, the juke move with mid-out elite. Mid-out elite might not sound like much, but if you are running corner routes from, you know, to the wide side of the field from the slot, which is where the tight end normally plays, this ability does light up versus man coverage and just kills it. So mid-out elite one AP. This card's actually built basically perfectly. Um, should and also I think he will hit three thresholds as well. Um, will he? Uh, he might hit three thresholds. It might be like pretty close on deep route running, but still a very good card. I'm gonna give Shannon Sharp honestly an A. I'll give him an A. I'll give no. Eh. I'll give him an A. I'll give him an A just because there is debatably a better tight end in the game, and that's Gronk. I would probably lean Gronk honestly. For me personally, I like having run block, but I know not everyone needs the run block. So I'm going to give Shannon Sharp an A. Next up, we have Calvin Johnson, cornerback. For me, I have a problem with this card. I love running man-to-man -man coverage, and the fact that he has 82 man coverage hurts my soul. Um, but if you run man coverage and you play too high, um, play Calvin at safety. But, you know, they made him a corner because if you put a card, at, if you made a card a cornerback, you always put him at safety. If you made a card a safety, um, that means you can use him. And they don't want us to use your Calvin Johnson probably because they have so many linebackers and things like that. They probably think it would be pretty broken. And honestly, it probably would be. But he does get one AP pick artist. So I'm still going to give this card an A+, believe it or not, even though he has low man coverage because there are good ways to use this card. And a lot of people play, play zone coverage. He's really high zone coverage and with his affordability and his size and his weight. And also, he should get... I, I think he should get pretty decent, tack decent tackling stats. I mean, we've gotten, what, a Calvin Johnson basically every year. Did we, did we get a Calvin last year? Did we get a Calvin last year? I actually don't remember. Did we get it? I mean, it feels like every year we get some kind of DB Calvin Johnson. Um, Yeah, we had this one right here. And, yeah, he was also he was able to he was actually able to tackle pretty well as a cornerback. Um, and they gave him man coverage last year. So, 
yeah, she should have good tackling stats as well with these ones as well. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna give him an A plus though because of the one AP pick artist. And right now in this game, all of the discounted ability cards are super expensive besides like Auto Graham. Um, so, and also, I mean, there are some other legends, but you know, pick artist, one of the better abilities, one of the must have abilities in the game right now. So, Calvin, A plus. Next up is Jalen Hurts. So, we take a look at the quarterbacks. Um, you know, right now in this game, by the way, Jalen Hurts does have the Geno Smith release, uh, the Auto Graham release. It's all pretty much the same there. But let's take a look at um, the quarterbacks right now in the game. So we'll go players, we'll go to quarterbacks, and I'll basically compare them him to some other guys. I still think Joe Flacco, even after Jalen Hurts comes out, will be the best passer in the game still. Slinger one, six foot six, great stats, good abilities. I would still give the edge to Joe Flacco um, as far as passing goes. And then it comes down to either Richardson or Jalen Hurts. And to me, Richardson, uh, it, it's debatable. I think the Hurts release is more consistent, but there's a lot of the times Anthony Richardson's release is just a little bit better in some in some instances. Um, but the main reason why I think I would probably lean Hurts is because Hurts does get gift wrap zero AP. And you still, you know, you still um, get those drops every once in a while without gift wrap. Um, and obviously the high balls are big, are good for it too. So it all kind of balances out if he had, you know, minus one AP on his set feed or minus... 1AP on his gunslinger, it would all kind of balance out. But honestly, I would probably give the edge to, as far as just how the QBs play, I think Richardson, because that slinger release without gunslinger does have a good flick on it and can be quick. Um, there are times like short left where it's slow, but Hertz release is probably a little more consistent. I would say consistently slower than slinger three, but a more consistent release um, uh, using that gen two, but good stats. Obviously we'll get set feet. And things like that i'm not sure if the guy put the comment here normally someone puts a comment yeah here he is mr madden player always comes clutch does get set feet does get high route master for all of you guys who you know run those abilities can't get both at the same time but you know zero p gift wrap set feet gunslinger pretty good combo or zero p gift wrap with set feet very good combo there as well so um you know gift wrap set feet yeah i'll give jalen hurts though i'll give him like an a i'll give him an a i'm gonna give jalen hurts an a next up we have our ltds fred warner he'll be the best of user in the game most likely he's six foot three 230 the strength and hit power does scare me a little bit but it should be okay because he does get zero ap lurk artist um if you want to buy josh allen his price should be down now you can definitely go after go after that card and uh niners you know niners steam teamers are gonna want this card so he should be very expensive 92 speed 94 acceleration um, we still got to see them the man in zone stats um but we'll be a very good user which means you're using him so it won't really matter um if you know those stats but he should have good you know he, he has good zone so i would imagine the man's probably like at 85 it won't be like josh allen where it's 92 92 but um you know still still, still will play very well with the zero p lurk artist so fred water expect this price to be probably like 1.5 plus with him being an ltd linebacker for the niners i'm gonna give fred Warner an a here as well and finally the man who headlines the promo that is the 95 speed tyreek hill I'm going to give this card an A+. Plus. He gets two really good discounted abilities with Slot Apprentice and Mid and Elite. And I'm hoping that you actually feel his speed. Unlike a guy like Todd Gurley where, yeah, he has 97 speed, but didn't feel very fast. I'm hoping Tyree Kill does move like he should. And obviously the first Tyree Kill didn't last as long as we thought he was going to because of his route running. This one, we're not going to have a problem with that. He's got 94 deep route running, 92 mid, 93 short. Uh, he will most likely be the best wide receiver in the game with an A+. Plus. Crazy stats, crazy discounted abilities. Tyree Kill is going to be an absolute monster so and his price tag will probably my prediction is probably like four million three million somewhere there like i think pretty close to richard sherman's price with him being a big fast corner uh tyree kill should get that same kind of love um but it does obviously depend on if there's like a good store offer and things like that to drive down his price we got or a re-roll that could all be possible with this tyree kill card driving him down maybe to like two million hopefully a little bit cheaper hopefully but yeah all around zero chill pretty good drop a lot of these cards are top tier at their position but let me let me know down in the comment section what would you grade the zero chill promo? Me personally, I'm gonna give it like a, I think it's also like an A. I'm gonna give it an A. Um, you know, as far as the cards go, we gotta see what they do with, you know, the special events and gifts and things like that. But as far as these cards for part one go, I'll give it an A. Pretty good drop from EA Sports. Um, and a lot of you know, a lot of pretty solid free card options too. So um, as always, I'll see you boys in the next one. I'll be dropping at least two more gameplays and maybe one more tomorrow. Um, that's the plan for the content um, the next couple of days for zero chill.